But first of all, yes. before we do this presentation, we actually asked a number of clients, fellow partners, management team members, and the unsung hero, really, the PA, what they thought of the winner. So have a look at this VT now. I would say that he is intellectually very, very formidable. I would say he has tremendous vision and ability to think strategically and in a long-term uh, way. He had always been interested in, in law, firm, uh, law firms as a business, which in those days, which is you know, 12 years ago, maybe wasn't quite as pronounced as it is now. He's one of these people who may well be kind of a general who, who produces strategy, but one thing you can be sure about is when you're in the trench, and you're going out over the top, he'll be beside you. He's very well known here and he's hugely respected. He continued to manage the firm and uh, become very active in dealing um, with the financial crisis on behalf of the government. There is no doubt as to who I would use um, in a uh, transaction or if I was looking for um, pragmatic, uh, commercial, result oriented and solution oriented advice. They know he's coming to a meeting, for example, perhaps everyone sits up a little bit straighter <laughs> to just to sort of see what's going to happen. Everybody wants a bit of his time and he doesn't have enough time. He needs a twin. Very, very persuasive. Persuasive to the extent you could describe him as stubborn, but stubborn in a good way, not in a bad way. He had the ability to, to persuade the entire equity partnership to take a different route from the route that they had originally wanted to take. And um, he just worked tirelessly at it. And it was amazing to see how over the week various different people's viewpoints changed to match his. He can manage to persuade you that black is white and at the end of it you actually thought that it was white in the first place. Um, damn him. <laughs> he is uh, very financially numerate which is a, a trait uh, that cannot always be associated with lawyers quick to thank you for doing things and uh, he's got a great sense of humor. Uh, I'm sure I'm allowed to mention the fact because he does at least three times a day that he was a classmate of Barack Obama in Harvard Law School. I think that a lot of lawyers will talk about themselves as creative people or you know it's very fashionable nowadays to portray yourself as a blue sky thinker and a, someone who thinks outside of the box. I think to be frank you don't actually meet that many people who are in that category. Um, I think he definitely is one. He was at the forefront of our initiative in recent years to build contacts and network in China. Walking around the firm, he would talk to everybody, and he's, he's quite an outgoing person and, and engages on a lot of levels and would know everybody's name. If I can help the office in development, will I be given the freedom to do that? And his reply to me on the first night was, I'll give you the keys of the car. You take them and drive the car. I'm not in the car. He hasn't in any sense tried to remain involved, tried to tell me what to do, um, but he is always there to give me advice if I want to. He's a real ball of energy and a fantastic um, motivator and energizer of people. And from the graduate recruitment side of things, which is interesting, relates very, very well to young people. So this person has had a new baby recently and his desktop will change every single day with a new photo of the baby. And you, if you ask how the baby is, you will be shown the latest photo that is on the mobile phone and just totally besotted. As a fellow Ireland Munster and Cork supporter, never go to a game with him. In a, in a stadium full of 80,000 people, he's the only person I know whose individual voice you can hear from the other side of the stadium. Make sure you're wearing earplugs if you ever go to a match with him. I, I only wish I had an easier act to follow. Brian, it's over to you for the winner. Okay. And this year's MPF Lifetime Achievement Award goes to Patrick O'Reardon.
I, I think there's been very few times in my life um, that I've been genuinely speechless. Um, I literally had no idea that this was happening tonight. Um, I feel like I've stepped back into a, an episode of This Is Your Life, um, <laughs> whereby a lot of friends and colleagues have clearly misled me for the last number of weeks. I thought that I was here for um, an award in relation to IT tonight, um, and clearly that isn't the case. I, I think the very fact that my management team, my wife who turned up just two seconds ago, um, and my firm in general can get me here with the wool pulled over my eyes. It shows you very clearly who's been in charge for the last number of years. <laughs> <laughs> and it certainly hasn't been me. Um, I would, I'm deeply, deeply honoured uh, to, to accept this award. And as I say, frankly, stunned. Um, I'd like to thank uh, my firm. Um, Arthur Cox is just a wonderful place to be. And you're only as good as the people around you, as Colin uh, said earlier on. And there is absolutely no doubt about that. Um, I'd like to thank all of my management team. Uh, I'd like to thank Brian O'Gorman, who has succeeded me in the last number of months and is doing an absolutely fantastic job in leading the firm forward. And I would like to thank my wife, Leila, for her unending support over the years and understanding at times that she had no right to be understanding. Um, <laughs> thank you all very, very much. Um, the outstanding, my lifetime achievement, actually, I will often think of it being this, but it actually is my 14-month-old girl. And I wish she was here tonight as well. Thank you very much. Thank you.